is uh, another tutorial for Golang GRPC. This is a beginner friendly one, and this is in 2022. One of the reasons I'm creating this tutorial because when I'm searching for this, all of the one that I found was quite outdated and there is a little bit here and there that you need to change to actually make it work okay so let's just go for it so this is for beginner this is a very basic things about grpc we're going to make a hello world of grpc basically so first of all you need to install a command line application called protobuf this is we going to need it later on to generate um to generate the implementation of the grpc uh, definition that later we're going to create so do this if you haven't for me i already do this brew install protobuf so i don't need to do it anymore and later on we're going to do this to install the grpc library package that we're going to use inside our golang and then later on this is the command that we are going to use to generate the implementation in golang out of the uh, file definition that we create so this proto command is actually you will have it once you did this okay so let's start with doing this if you haven't pause the video first if you haven't done it after that then let's talk about the high level things actually about grpc grpc here we what we're going to do is first we're going to create the file definitions so that is actually the contract of what is uh, the remote procedure calls that we're going to share between client and server maybe back before that one step before that what is grpc in generic grpc is grpc remote procedure call literally it is the g is not stand for google okay it stands for grpc remote procedure call is a recursive things and these things is just another method of communication between services so the one that is more ubiquitous probably is that you all almost all of us know is rest api right but grpc is there um, because to imp to have a more performance much much more performance communication method between services compared to rest api because rest api the content is using text so it's pretty heavy while in grpc is actually symbolizing it it's in binary so it's much much more uh, efficient in terms of the size of the message being sent out and because it's binary also they can make much more efficiency out of it and grpc also built on top of http2 which is much more performant than http1 so uh, basically grpc is very performant but like i mentioned just now in one of our step we're going to need to create a contract first so it is actually less flexible than rest api because in rest api you don't need to uh, rely on a contract the client doesn't need to rely on this contractual uh, data which is later on it is a file uh, with the ending of dot proto so in rest api there is nothing of this kind of explicit dependency everything is implicit while in grpc it is explicit so that's one of the downside in rpc in any kind of rpc things so in short grpc is a more performant uh, communication method between services okay so what we are going to do here later on we're going to create a hello world of server we have a server we have clients and we have the grpc uh, the protobuf uh, file definition so protobuf is like the protocol that the grpc uses to communicate hmm. <clears throat> let's start by starting our module let's go mod in it and then the name of our package i will name it just example.com grpc stuff 
that's actually the folder that I'm in right now okay so now the more tool is created next is we are going to need to install the gRPC library package so just do the go get google go along or gRPC that's it now we have the gRPC here after we install everything we need to start writing our file definition uh, schema for our services that will be later on used by both the client and the server okay to write this file definition first we need to tell what is the protobuf version we have and then put the packets under uh, where it is not to forget we need these things in protobuf and the package here let's just name it hello package and this is one of the specific things that is changing in 2022 is that you need to mention the go package so i will name it hello this is basically what it means when later on we generate it for golang it will create a folder called hello and then it will make the package name of the generated file as hello okay so that's one of the key differences with the older tutorial and then we will have like some data structure here a message data structure let's name it message and message will have uh, content which is a string oh i forget to put this one that's why there is no color content uh, equal to one what is the one here the one here means literally um, basically a symbol that will represent how content going to be represented in the wire so compare it with json where in json you will send something like this right content what is the value while in protobuf later on you wouldn't see a uh, you the content here will be represented with number one okay then we will define our surface here which is the hello surface hello surface and then what it will have it will have an rpc let's call it talk key it will have message it will returns message to okay now it's all done this is the file definition we will now start generating the implementations of it with this command okay let's see so what's this command means is this is the one that we get after we install this and then this is the options this basically says where is the root folder where we are going to generate the the things and this is the file where are we going to generate from the definition file let's run it there you go you see here we now have this folder and this .pb.go which have all the things we need based on this schema definitions okay now it's called talkie next we need we need to create the server right in order to create the server first we need to prepare the handler so the handler basically the one that implement this function okay and this function in here let's search for it talkie it's this one so we need to implement this if you see this is the hello service client interface so we need to creates the implementation that implement this function 
let's name it hello.go the package is hello let's call it a server and this will implement that tall key inter that tall key function we don't need this let's make it simple click save and start to load to import whatever we need now let's do some logging message from client percent s in dot there should be content here okay now what we need we need to return message and this message will have the content hello I am server and no error okay all good now then we will create the server dot go this will be a main function Fun main and what we need here first of all we need to have a listener from uh, listening to the network this will be from the golang listen net listen it will be a tcp connection and let's say we have port 9000 okay and as usual we need to handle the error let's just do a log dot fatal fail to listen error then we also need to start preparing for the grpc server this is the grpc new server this is the google golang grpc stuff okay and we also need to prepare for our handler implementations which we just now have been set the hello package hello server okay then what we need is having the hello dot the hello dot register hello service server it will need the grpc server and our handler remember it if you see here you can see that it's actually asking for the interface that's why we need to do the ampersand here out of our server okay so now we already passed the the grpc instance and also our handler instance what we need to do next is to um, let's see to actually start the server okay and then we need to pass the network listener that we built from the basic net package of the golang and this can have error so we need to handle it if r not equal to nil then we do the log dot battle well to serve okay so that should be enough for the server to summarize to create server we need to listen to the network we need to prepare the grpc server and our handler that we implemented based on the interface that is generated after we generated from the schema and then 
we register the service server by passing in the gRPC server and the uh, pointer to our implementation handler. After that, we call the serve functions of the gRPC server and passing in the network that we are listening to. And that's it. The server should start listening if there are nothing wrong. Okay. So one way is we can go run server logo. Now it's start to listening. Next, we need to create the client which is going to call this thing. The client will have the package main fun main what was that I hope I press allow let's see later on client connection so this count will be from grpc.dial and just now we create the server at port 9000 and we need to have the grpc dot with in secure this basically is saying no HTTPS stuff things because this is just uh, you know introductions a hello world for grpc of course we need to handle the error if error not equal to nil just look a fatal fail to dial percent plus v error after that connection we need the hello dot new hello service client and it require the connection and then we will have the service client what does it returns yeah it returns the client then from this we can do the talkie what does the talkie need to pass? it need to pass context context.background and the message hello the message which needs content and let's say hello I am a client that should be enough it will return either the message or an error let's handle the error fail to talky if not then we will print the message content okay so it will be should be ready let's test it basically i'm opening another terminal this will be go run client.go we can see that it's and the we got informations here that hello i'm server while in the server we get messages from client hello i am client so that's about it for our grpc introduction in 2022 hope that is helpful thank you